Burke Nihill is the president and CEO of the Tennessee Titans, and he joins us now. Burke, thank you for the time. Thanks for having me, Mike. Burke, why is the serve mission statement so important to Amy Adams Strong? Amy's a special person, Mike, and, and she's a special NFL owner. She has a deep appreciation for what this organization can mean for this community. She loves our fans, she loves this community, and she expects that we will leverage the resources of this community, the platforms of this community, to make this community a better place to live for our neighbors and, and the community at large. How has service become something so important to this entire team? It's just the people in this building. We set out to renew our mission statement and we did not have any preconceived notions about what we were going to end up with in terms of a mission statement. We let the people tell us why they love working here, what's important to them about working here. A lot of organizations have done similar exercises and they come up with a very commercial or, or business mission statement. Our staff, our players, our coaches kept coming back to this idea of service. And by the way, it's, it's not just serving our community, it is that. But it's, it's serving ourselves. It's, it's having a service mindset in terms of how we interact with each other. It's a, it's a team first mentality. It's serving our fans. It's wanting to have a great hospitality experience every time somebody steps through our building at Nissan Stadium. But it is also definitely serving our neighbors. We understand that we can have this impact and we're gonna live into that mission. We took that 75 or 80 word mission statement and, and brought it down to three words. The Titans organization exists to win to serve and to entertain. In your time with the organization, has there been a moment, a project, or an event that you hope best exemplifies what Tennessee Titans service can be about? I, I think our response to the Waverly floods, it was a devastating event. 20 people lost their lives and, and countless others lost businesses and, and homes. And uh, the way that our team responded to me was just a picture of living into our, our mission statement of winning, serving, and entertaining. Certainly, we showed up with, with a check. They, they needed money and, and we were quick to help support their financial needs, but our staff was quick to get on the ground. Uh, people were cleaning out uh, houses that needed to be cleaned up. They were cleaning up fields from the actual devastation. But it was what happened next that I think was just so powerful and an indication of where we are as a service-oriented organization. Our human resources manager, uh, Ali Lesmeller, actually made the suggestion that they need a football field as a high school and we have a football field and maybe we could blend those two concepts. And it was in the middle of our season. Everyone is so busy, right? It, this is, this is, this is the, the really busy time for organization. But every part of our organization stepped up to say, how can we help support that effort? Uh, we had our partnerships team that partnered with LG to provide washing machines to replace the old washing machines that were, that were lost. The stadium events team that said, how can we put on a great event to host Waverly High School? Perhaps my favorite was actually you, Mike, and, and the Titans radio team. I remember standing, watching as the broadcast was being aired on 104.5, and everyone in that booth was calling that game as though it was the Super Bowl. Snap is good. Dooley. Looking, firing deep down the middle, caught, touchdown, Stanfield. <laughs> I'm telling you what, what a bullet, what a bullet, what a high school football game. And it was just this example of, of recognizing that we have something unique to offer to our community. And in this case, it was Waverly in their time of need. We were able to bring a, a bit of a bright light to that community in that time. Finally, Burke, what do you hope that Tennessee Titans service looks like, not just to the people of Nashville, but to the people of the entire Mid-South? Well, we are the Tennessee Titans. So we're one of the few professional sports organizations that bear the moniker of a state and not just a city. And we take that very seriously. So what I would uh, say to folks in, in Chattanooga and Memphis and, and Knoxville and all areas in between is expect to see the fireball in your community. Expect to see us at your schools uh, with, with T-Rack and the cheerleaders helping to, to put on school presentations. Expect to see us putting on football camps in your community. And God forbid if you need us because of a natural disaster or something like that, uh, we'll be there to serve you. Uh, we just mentioned Waverly uh, as an example of, of a time that we showed up. Bowling Green had a, had a terrible tornado incident last year. We've got a lot of season ticket members up there and we got on buses to help with the cleanup and invited our season ticket members to help with that. Uh, we understand we have a responsibility and a stewardship to these communities across Tennessee and, and we will be there. Burke Nihill, thanks for putting a bow on this for us. Thank you, Mike.